Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Instant Pot series. I am so excited to share these two recipes with you. They were so incredibly delicious. They are must makes, they are family friendly, they're kid friendly, they are definitely husband approved because my husband loved them both. So if you want a couple of great Instant Pot recipes that are WW friendly and absolutely delish, then all you have to do is keep watching. So for tonight's Instant Pot recipe, we are going to be making jambalaya. Now one of the girls at my work tried this recipe and she said, it was phenomenal. So I am very excited to share this with you tonight. So let me show you what is in our jambalaya. So first you're going to need some rice. I just have some regular long, long grain white rice, chicken broth or chicken stock, olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, some sort of sausage. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausage, super low in points, two smart points, per link, so that'll keep the points down too on our jambalaya. It also calls for Cajun seasoning. Now, I do not have any Cajun seasoning, so I'm gonna go ahead and substitute with Dax Original Red. This is a zero salt seasoning. I absolutely love this seasoning. Here are your ingredients. So, has some of the similar ingredients that is in Cajun, just with maybe a little bit less of a kick. If you have not tried Dax, I highly urge you to do so. Zero salt spices that have a ton of flavor. Down in the description box, I do have a link that will save you 10%. So definitely check out Dax, amazing. And then we need some minced garlic, no salt added, petite diced tomatoes, an onion and a red pepper. So let's get started on our jambalaya. So the first thing that we're gonna do for our jambalaya is we're gonna chop up our red pepper, our onion, and we're gonna chop up our sausages. Red pepper and onion in one bowl, sausages in the other. So let's get to chopping. Once you get your veggies and sausage all cut up, we're actually gonna go over here to saute. We're gonna turn on our Instant Pot until it is nice and hot. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our oil and our veggies. Once your Instant Pot gets nice and hot, what I have here is one teaspoon of olive oil. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the bottom of our Instant Pot. Let it warm up for just about five seconds or so. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our peppers and our onions, listen to that delicious sizzle. We're just gonna give this a quick stir. We're gonna let these saute down for about two to four minutes or until they've become kind of brown. Get that nice delicious brown bits on the bottom of our Instant Pot. Once your peppers and onions start to soften, we're gonna go ahead and add in our two cups of chicken stock. And we're just gonna stir that up, let it kind of pick up any brown bits on the bottom of our Instant Pot. Make sure our peppers and onions are nice and coated in our chicken broth. And then from here, we are going to be adding in our cut up sausage. And then we're also going to be adding in the rest of our spices. So of course, we're gonna add in our Dax Original Red. So that's the first spice that we're going to add. And again, flavor to your liking. We like our food flavorful, but not overly spicy. So that's about what I'm gonna do for the Dax. And then I'm also going to add in some of my Lighthouse Garlic. And again, to taste. I'm also going to add in my can of petite diced tomatoes. And then we are going to give our Instant Pot a nice good stir, kind of get all of those ingredients combined. Before. Once you get everything nice and combined, we're gonna go ahead and add in our one and a half cups of rice. Now the trick with the rice, we do not wanna stir our Instant Pot. We just wanna spread our rice out 
and we want to just push it down so that it is soaked in all of the liquid. Do not stir this all together. So just gently pat down your rice until it is fully covered in liquid. Once your rice is submerged in all of the liquid, we are going to go back down here to our instant pot and we are going to go ahead and cancel it being on saute and we want to set this for manual time for a measly three minutes. So then we're going to pop our lid on and we're going to let it cook down on high for three minutes. Once your three minutes is up, we are going to let the pressure natu naturally release. It will take about 10 minutes. Then we're going to add in our Worcestershire sauce and our hot sauce and my friends our jambalaya is done 30 minutes or less to your table yum okay once you pop your lid off our rice is cooked perfectly we are going to be adding in two teaspoons of worcestershire sauce and then we're also going to be adding in one teaspoon of hot sauce and then we're going to give that a big stir and that's it you guys that my friends Ooh, we're steamy hang on that is our jambalaya it looks so good that is a lot of food and the serving is one sixth. So let me get this on my plate and I will show you the serving size and of course give you the smart point. And here's our completed jambalaya. So this is quite a large serving. It is just over a cup and it is only six smart points. So look at that sausage, the rice, the veggies. What a indulgent, delicious treat that is usually extremely high in points. Again, only six smart points for our Instant Pot Jambalaya. So for tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are making meaty Italian pasta. So this is going to be loaded with deliciousness. I cannot wait. I'm going to pair this with a vegetable. So I'm going to show you what is in tonight's dinner, but I do want to let you know that I am also going to be including two and a half cups of water, which I'm not showing you. And then I have a couple of substitutions. So I'll show you that as well. So first you are going to need some olive oil. The recipe actually calls for avocado oil, but I'm just going to use olive. That's what I have on hand. You'll need some garlic roasted red peppers. I'm going to use Rotel in place of the tomato sauce just to get that little bit of extra bulk and some green chilies in there for flavor. Petite diced tomatoes. You'll need some sort of sausage. So the recipe actually calls for bulk Italian sausage. So I went ahead and went with this frozen turkey breakfast sausage to save on points. You'll need some extra lean ground beef. I have 96 for Worcestershire sauce mozzarella cheese so of course i'm using the trader joe's light shredded mozzarella you'll need some tomato paste and last but not least some balsamic vinegar and i think i showed you the pasta but if not you'll need some pasta and of course i'm using the fiber gourmet light penne pasta two ounces is only three points so it is half the smart points of regular pasta and it is amazing better than pasta literally way better than pasta you can order this off of nettrition.com and there is a link down in the description box that will take you directly to their website so there you have it my friends let's get started on tonight's instant pot dinner so the first thing you're going to do is turn your instant pot onto saute to your instant pot you're going to go ahead and add your one pound of lean ground beef and half of a pound of whatever sausage that you are using we want to get this nice and browned and get it pretty much cooked up in our instant pot and while the meat is cooking we're going to go ahead and chop up our roasted red peppers once your hamburger and sausage get pretty much cooked down we are going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of olive oil and then we're also going to add in one half of a cup of our chopped up roasted red pepper make sure you guys get them not in oil and then we're also going to add in just a little bit of garlic and then we're going to let this finish cooking down until everything is nice and cooked through all the meat it'll give the chance of the peppers and the garlic a chance to kind of let i'll clean you off there we go sorry uh let those flavors all meld together once your hamburger is fully cooked we're going to go ahead and add in about one and three quarters cup of water and we are also then going to go ahead and add in our eight ounce package of fiber gourmet pasta and then we're going to give this a quick stir and we're going to let it sit for just about a minute or so and then we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients and we are still on the saute function 
Next, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients except for our cheese. So we have one quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. We're gonna go ahead and add our entire can of petite diced tomatoes. And this is where you would add your tomato sauce, but instead I decided to go ahead and add in some Rotel, so I'm gonna add in that. And then I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna kinda wing about two tablespoons worth. And then last, we are going to put a quarter cup of the tomato paste, and then we're gonna give this a nice big stir, and we're ready to get this pressurized and cooking, but this smells so good. I cannot wait for tonight's dinner. Once all your ingredients are in there, you wanna hit your manual button, put your pressure cooker on to low pressure, pop on your lid, and we're gonna let this cook down. I'll be back to show you the completed dinner. I forgot to mention, we are going to cook this on low pressure for five minutes. Once your pasta is done cooking, you are going to manually release by turning it from venting to steam. And we are going to let all of the steam out and then we will be ready to top our pasta with our cheese. So I just popped the lid off of the Instant Pot and look at how delicious this looks, you guys, yum. So next we're going to add one cup of mozzarella cheese. So again, I'm using the Trader Joe's. Oh, you're getting steamy again, there we go. And then I'm just gonna mix this into the pasta and we'll be ready to plate it up with some veggies and I'll give you the smart points. So here is my completed dinner. Look at how delicious this pasta looks. I just tried a little bit of the meat and the flavor is on point. So for the pasta, you can have one eighth of the recipe with it, which is just a little bit over a cup for seven smart points. So not bad considering you have two types of meat, pasta, cheese, real cheese, so good. I went ahead and paired that with just a little bit of corn with some spray butter, salt, and pepper. So this entire dinner is seven smart points. Definitely a must try recipe. Thank you for joining me on another episode of my WW Instant Pot series. I hope you enjoyed seeing this recipe series. These two recipes were so good, so incredibly good. They are definite, definite must tries. I will be linking the recipe with any modifications down in the description box below, so you will find them both there, along with all of my discount codes, my P.O. box, anything and everything Jen's WW Journey related. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Definitely, definitely hit the notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know, are you gonna try these recipes because I tell you, you must. They are delicious. And of course, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.